fuck it, I wanna go to hell. Cause I'm a piece of shit, it ain't hard to fucking tell. It don't make sense going to heaven with the goody goodies dressed in white. I like black Tims and black hoodies. God'll probably have me on some real strict shit. No sleeping all day, no getting my dick lit. Hanging with the goody goodies, lounging in paradise. Fuck that shit, I wanna choke guns and shoot dice. All my life I've been considered as the worst. Lying to my mother, even stealing out of purse. You too, what is good? It's your boy. Okay, job man. Bring y'all back another banger video today. Now, as you guys already know, I've already made my very first scoring machine. He was kind of bad. He was 250 pounds. Max wingspan. He was kind of bad. I mean, he was good, but like he was he was slow. You feel me? Today, as you guys can tell by the title of the video. I am bringing you guys the absolute best scoring machine build that you guys can possibly make in NBA 2K21 next gen. Now, as you guys can see, there is snow in the background, man. So, Christmas is coming soon. DF is recruiting. Hey, shout out to everybody who gets in the DF. Happy for y'all. But, uh, happy holidays to everybody. But, um, without further ado, man, let's get right into this video. If you guys do enjoy this video if i do help you out in any way shape or form i'm gonna need you guys to do three favors for me hit that like button hit that sub button and turn on that notification bell hope you have a blessed day and i'm out all right y'all as you guys can tell we are in the my player builder okay name of this guy is sub to ja that's me all right so listen now there is a lot of controversy when it comes to this to, to making your build okay a lot of people say point guard builds are better. A lot of people say shooting guards and point guards are better than power forwards. But if you guys literally want the most amount of badges that you guys can get, do not make a point guard. At the end of this video, I will show you guys a point guard with the exact same attributes. And it will not have as many badges as a power forward build. So listen, you're going to make your build a power forward i promise you guys this is literally like the best build that you guys can make if you guys if you if you have a duel and you guys both have this build or six the six seven demi build you guys are going to be so toxic and if you guys are somewhat good at this game you will not lose i promise so we're gonna go with the left hand because i'm left hand in real life jersey number doesn't really matter but for good luck i'm gonna go with one because that was my uh number or whatever that doesn't really matter i like one now listen, 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 listen. Okay, now it this is this is completely dependent on how you guys like to play the game. If you guys, you know, want to be a little bit on the taller side, and you feel me, like you guys like getting rebounds more than dribbling and stuff like like if you guys want more speed, don't make a six eight or six nine. If you guys want more speed and ball handle, make the six seven. But listen, if you guys are a spot up, make the six eight six nine. Keep everything just like this, but. Me, I like to dribble now, okay? And if you guys know me in the, like, in the past, 2K20, I was an offensive threat, but I was primarily a 6'10 interior finisher. But listen, just listen. This build right here, you guys can literally do everything with. You guys cap out at 11. You can either have it at 11, 24, 19, and 20, or you can have it at 11, 21, 21, and 20. It is completely on you i picked the 24 one just because i like you know them extra shooting badges just so i can like you know goof around make some weird circus three shots and stuff like that that's why i made mine 24 and i personally feel like this year you don't need floor journey you don't need dimers so i don't need those extra playmaking badges but it's completely up to you guys so i'm gonna go with six foot seven and if you guys were here from the beginning of my 2k21 next gen journey i made my six seven 250 50 pound, 7 foot 3 wingspan, burly build. Now listen, I don't really have to tell you guys why this build is bad. Just look at the weight and look at the body shape. It is horrible. If you can see the speed and speed with ball, it is very, very bad. So listen, the way you make this build a demigod build, so it is as fast as possible as you guys look. Listen, just look at it. It's an 81 speed, a 78 acceleration, and an 80 speed with ball. You drop the weight all the way down to 210. Right now, you are at 85 speed, 81 acceleration, and at 84 speed with ball. Yes, I know it doesn't look like it went up that much, but once you guys get your gym rat badge, I do believe that's a plus four, plus five. 
And once you guys get a 99 overall, you guys are going to have at least a 93 to 94 speed on this build. It's going to be so fast, and you're going to be very hard to guard, I'm telling you. It's very hard to guard people in this game, but if you're good and fast and know what you're doing, it's literally, it's going to be it's going to be a hard time for the person guarding you, especially with this build. So instead of having the 7 foot 3 wingspan, you guys are going to have the 6 foot 11. I know it does it lowers your offensive and defensive rebound, but you guys look, you still have a 90 defensive rebound, okay? With Hall of Fame rebound chaser, Hall of Fame box, every badge that you would need to get a rebound. So you guys are going to be good. Now listen, don't go with Burley. Don't go with Burley. You just look fat and you look slow and you don't look like a good fast point guard cuz you're fat. Go with anything except for Burley. I believe I want my guy with built on this build just so I look strong. And when I get my shirt off, I, uh, he has abs or whatever. So that's exactly why I picked built. So listen, 85, 81, and 84, okay? You guys have to make sure you copy this to the exact T so you guys make sure you guys can get as many badges as possible. You max the driving dunk out, you max the standing dunk out, and you max the post control out. You, you max the post control just so you guys get the extra badges. You put this up to a 75 so you get 11 badges. Now listen, if you guys remove the post control, you only have 7. If you max this out, you guys get 16. You don't need a close shot this year. And it, it's just a whole lot that you guys, like, it's just a whole lot of attributes. So don't max your close shot out, okay? Max your post control so you guys get 11 badges, all right? Max the mid-range, obviously max the three-pointer, okay? Now, listen, I picked the one where I get the 24 badges, okay? I just like the shooting better, but I'm going to show you guys the 11, 21, 21, and 20. So, listen, you're going to max this all the way up to you guys get to 54. Now, listen, don't have this, don't have your free throw at a 56 because it's just a waste of badges. You're still at 21. Put it to a 54. So, when you go down to 53... You're still at 21, okay? Max your ball handle. Max the speed with ball. And listen, put the pass accuracy. A lot of people think, a lot of people think that if you guys want Dimer Gold and uh, Floor General Gold, you need a 71 ball, uh, 71 pass accuracy. I promise you guys, this is a visual glitch. You need a 67 ball handle in order to get Gold Floor General and Gold Dimer. This is the build that I made. I have mine 11, 21, 19, and... 20 but i'm going to show you guys the 11 21 21 and 20 okay so you guys max this out so you guys get to 73 pass accuracy okay 73 pack pass accuracy mm -hmm. you guys max your perimeter you max your offensive defensive and block just so we don't mess up let's upgrade your physicals to what you guys need your physicals to max the speed max the acceleration Put the vertical to a 70, max the stamina, and put this to a, uh, I do believe you need a 62 strength in order to get brick wall gold. Yes, 62 strength. So right now we're at 11, 21, 21, and 17. You max your interior defense all the way to 45, and then you guys put your steel all the way up to a 43. So right now. This build, let me do the math, 11, 21, 21, and 20. I was not good at school, so 20, 20, 20. That's 60, 62, plus 11. Uh, bam, I, I seem really dumb right now. I'm just going to do it on my phone. 21. You guys max out at 73 badges. This, I'm telling you guys, you guys can do whatever you need. I know the finishing is pretty low, but you guys don't need any more than 10. You literally don't need any more than 10 finishing badges. I'm going to show you guys why right now. So listen, I'm gonna, I'm really going to describe it down to a T so you guys can understand this. So you guys know that this is literally like one of the best builds that you guys can make in this game. Other than like the offensive threat. So listen, you guys have a 6'11 wingspan. So you guys can pick these takeovers right here. Okay, now listen. You are going to go with spot up for your first takeover, all right? And then, if this is strictly, like, however you play, if you guys play like Ticino and you like to do your fades, pick pull-up precision. But if you guys like to get ankle breakers, and I promise you, ankle breakers work this year, 
you guys are going to go with the ankle breaking shots. Now you guys don't get the glass clean. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys do get. You don't get the um rim protector takeover. So you guys still can pick the um see the future glass cleaning dimes and stuff like that if you guys want to play big man. So spot up and you guys can pick this one if you want. But me because I like to play guard and you don't need that takeover in order to get rebounds this year because you have a, such a high rebound. I'm going to pick the ankle breaking shots. Okay, now if you guys were in my stream yesterday, you guys seen that this guy had the ankle breaking shots and he was literally violating me. I was literally on the floor. I'm I'm gonna I'm a man. I'm gonna admit that he was really he was messing me up. All right, so you're gonna I'm gonna show you the bad setup. All right, I'm gonna show you the bad setup and I'm going to explain how this is the best build with the badges that I show you what to pick. All right, so you guys are going to test the build. As you guys can tell, it is a scoring machine. All right, now. This is a better version of LeBron James. Like, this is literally a better version of LeBron James. Because LeBron can't really shoot, all right? Everything else is there. The finishing is good. The block and the playmaking is just like, you know, LeBron James. But the shooting isn't, okay? So listen. Listen. Just listen. Listen. All right? So you guys are going to put Posterizer on Hall of Fame, all right? Hall of Fame Posterizer. You guys are going to put either Heat Seeker or Highlight Film. I like Heat Seeker better just because, you know, whatever. But just because you get that on gold, I put highlight film on that. This is all you need right here. These are the most important badges. You don't need slithery because everything is a contact dunk this year. Put Lob City Finisher on gold. These are the only badges that you need for finishing. And I promise you that right now. But listen. Once you guys make this build, these are the badges that you need to give you a shooting boost. You need deep threes on, on Hall of Fame. And you need Hot Zone Hunter on Hall of Fame, okay? These are the badges that you need. Deep Threes Hall of Fame and Hot Zone on Hall of Fame, all right? And then for the extra badges that you guys can have, Hot Shot, two shots with Hot Shot, and you have Takeover, okay? Two three-pointers with Hot Shot Hall of Fame, and you have your Takeover. You guys do not need that eye, okay? You guys do not need that eye. If you guys still spot up a little bit, put this on Bronze. Put blinders on Hall of Fame. Blinders is a very important badge this year. If somebody's jumping from the side of you, you will not get a contest, okay? So Hot Shot Hall of Fame, Hot Zone Hall of Fame, Deep Threes Hall of Fame, Blinders Hall of Fame, Catch and Shoot on Gold, and Green Machine. You can either put Green Machine on Hall of Fame or you guys can get Rhythm Shooter just because you have the ankle breaking takeover. But, and now if you guys had to um, pull up pull up precision you guys will get difficult shots because fades this year are very important but i'm going with the green machine so these are the badges that literally are the best shooting badges of the game and yeah i messed it up or well, I, I forgot to save it but these are the playmaking badges that the most important playmaking badges don't go into park with badges that look like this this is not going to work. You're not going to be able to handle the ball. You need quick first step, at least on Hall of Fame, and you need handles for days on Hall of Fame. All you need is eight badges to go to park, and you guys can pretty much do everything that you need. Now, special delivery, if you put this on Hall of Fame, two passes, and if he greens with and he has hot shot on, with two greens that he shoots, you guys will have team takeover. So this is a very important badge. But... I don't really like to run special delivery just because I don't have as many badges, okay? So I'm going to put stop and go on Hall of Fame. I'm going to put ankle breaker on gold, okay? Th these are the badges that you need in order to get your ankle breakers. Ankle breaker and stop and go. Those are the badges that you need. You put bullet passer on gold so the pass gets there faster. And you get and you put unpluck on gold. These are the badges that you need for playmaking in order to do everything that you need to do. Now, the order that I would put this in is I would... I'm, I'm going to show you the order that I would put this in so you guys can know, okay? So, quick first step, handles for days, unpluck on gold, okay? Once you guys get this, okay? Ankle breaker, stop and go, and bu and then bullet pass. So that's how I would do it. And then for the defense, you guys put clamps on Hall of Fame, Intimidator Gold, Rim Protector Hall of Fame, Rebound Chaser Hall of Fame, Box... On, on either box on silver or gold and chase down on um, silver. These are the only badges that you need for defense. Now, listen, I'm going to tell you guys why this is the best build that you guys can make in this game, okay? With the badges that we have right here, all right? With the badges that we have right here. Okay, listen. Now, say you guys are playing tools and you guys have highlight film on Hall of Fame. It's going to take you three dunks, six points, okay? Three dunks, 
with highlight film in order to get your first takeover. Once you guys get your first takeover, do not call your first takeover in. All you guys need to do is hit one three-pointer and with Hot Shot and Hall of Fame, that second takeover will be activated. So you guys need a total of nine points. Yes, nine points, three dunks and one three-pointer in order to have both of your takeovers activated. And once you guys get that, the game is pretty much over if you guys are good at this game. Okay? Now, if this video has helped you guys out in any way, shape, or form, please make sure you guys do me that favor. Hit that like button and hit that sub button. Support is free. I appreciate you guys. Have a blessed day. And I'm out.